people, welcome back. This is going to be a very easy lesson because it has four chords in it, but it's kind of one of Pearl Jam's um, most or best selling songs. I wouldn't say popular. I'm not sure. I think it's probably a, a crowd divider in terms of um, if you like it or not. But it's Last Kiss, which is a cover version that they did um, a little while back. Um, but it's really good for a slightly different type of strumming. So the chords are literally just G, E minor, C, and D. And that is it. Four chords. So if you can play those four chords, boom, you're halfway there. Because the other part is going to be the strumming. So. The first bit, I want to show you the strumming pattern, and I'm going to be quite basic with this one because it is such an easy tune. But some of you may just be learning, so I want you to come along this journey with us and nail all of these songs as best you can. So the strumming, the basic strumming pattern is this. So the strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Now, the reason that seems a bit strange is because your arm, my arm movement is like this. And when you're strumming most songs, that's kind of, you wanna have quite a loose feel. I'm actually anchoring my kind of arm here, okay? So it's like a natural pivot. And my wrist is quite loose, and I'm not holding the pick particularly hard either, okay? so. Just get that feel. But what you're going to do is, it's rather than playing those eighth notes, those are eight notes in every bar, so that's what we call eighth notes. Um, we call them quavers in the UK because, I don't know, we like crisps and weird words. So you can see my hand's just doing that, but I'm only strumming down, and then my hand comes back up with no strum, and then another one down, okay? Okay? Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, and I'm not laboring it too much for others, but here we go. When you go from the D to the G, what a lot of people will do, pros included, I've seen them, is when you're moving from a D chord to a G chord, because you, because your little finger, just physics, right? Your little finger is going to get to there before these two fingers are going to be able to reposition themselves on the first two strings. Okay, so rather than playing. You're always going to get your little finger going there a little bit sooner. I think. Um, so don't worry about that. In fact, I would encourage it because it's easier to change the chord. And if you add, it sounds nice. It's actually a sus fourth, which Pearl Jam use in pretty much every song. And then you've got time to move your other two fingers there, okay? Apart from that though, pretty, pretty straightforward. G chord easy. You need to move all of your fingers for the next one, which is E minor. You need to move them all again for this one. And you need to move them all again for this one. So it's a really good exercise if you're not used to changing between open chord positions. All right? But the only one that you can get away with is the D to the G. And there's in loads of other tunes as well, so worth learning. Now there's another way you can strum this, and it's kind of a lazy... That's quite good fun to do, and all you're doing is kind of so as you're doing the downstroke, you're just kind of letting the pick lightly roll across those strings. Okay, so the first note comes in strong, then the second beat is that kind of rake. So that's the first two beats one, two, three, four. 
Now, that's the second beat, but before that second beat is over, you're going to hit an upstroke on that top E string, okay? So... So that's the first two beats. Then for the third and fourth beats, you can play just a kind of um, downward arpeggio. Okay? Okay, it's pretty straightforward, but it just sounds a lot different and much more in keeping with the kind of um, cover that they do, okay? So, that slowly. All right, and then to speed. Don't worry if you miss a few here and there, I will. You'll never get that um, always um, like a robot accurate. Who wants their music to sound like that anyway? So um, that is it. I think um, that's probably enough time on that one because it's essentially four chords, but just a couple of things you can do with it and some good, good exercises for changing between those chords. So hope you enjoyed that one. Loads more to come. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.